Hi everybody, Bohush here speaking for photodeoxpro.com. And in this video, I want to introduce you to a flapjack you've been waiting for, the flapjack ring light. That's right, here at the warehouse, we may call it the Flapjack C318 RLS, but between you and me, we're gonna call it the Flapjack Ring Light. Now, the Flapjacks have become famous because of a, a couple different things. Super portable lights. They're very, very lightweight. Uh, they're easy to transport because we give you a case, but they're small enough you can slip it into your own case. Uh, plus, they come as a complete kit. You're ready to run right out of the box. Plus, the lights are very versatile. You can use them for close-up work, product photography, but you can use them for studio photography too. Like, actually, I'm being lit right now for this video using a set of flapjacks. Uh, but most important, the quality of the light that you get out of the flapjack is very soft. It's like using a soft box without the soft box because the light that comes out is already bounced, it's already soft, beautiful. Beautiful for faces, great for products, and uh, all the advantages of LEDs without the harshness. So you asked for a ring light. Ring light's kind of a unique kind of light because uh, a lot of people think of them as macro lights, but we think of them as macro and studio lights. And I'll show you why in just a moment. First, Let's take a look at what comes in the case. Now, the case you get is a handsome carrying case with a handle and a shoulder strap. Let's unzip. Okay, the lid has a zipper compartment. It's got some Velcro straps in there to help you with cable management because this light can operate either off of batteries or off of AC power, both of which are included with the kit. Open this guy up. This flap protects everything, keeps it all in place. And here's what you get. You get a pair of Sony NPF style batteries. You get a dual charger. You get an, uh, a car adapter for the charger because you always forget to charge your batteries until you're on your way to the gig. Plus you get an AC adapter with a really long cord. That makes it a lot easier to position this guy. But uh, here's the main deal right here. Here is the ring light itself. From the back, you can see where the batteries snap in. And you've got a couple different mounting options. You've got quarter 20s on each side, so you can use this on a light stand. You just mount it like so on a ball head, position it wherever you want. Or you can mount this guy, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a second, which will let you use a rail system. So if you're using this for video work, or really any setup where you have a nice kind of camera rail system, uh, this guy will do it. Whether you're using the 15 millimeter rods or the larger rods, you're set with what comes in the kit. Let me show you how to mount the, uh, the rod holder right now. It comes pretty much assembled right out of the bag there. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver, which I have right here. If you move this guy, you'll see this goes up and down this rail. And note that this, uh, this ratchets, so if for some reason you need to move it without unscrewing, you can do that. But just slide this guy down until you reveal the screw holes. And then down here at the bottom, there's a metal plate with four screw holes tapped in. And we give you the screws you need in this little bag. With a spare one in case you screw up. So here I've got all four screws. Okay, and there we are ready to go. So you can slide your rods in like so, tighten it wherever you need it to be. Maybe you need it up like this, you know, line it up however you need to for the particular lens you're using and cinch it down. For a more permanent install, there's some Allen key screws right along here. You can really cinch it and keep it locked where you need it. But I have found for the most part, this guy does the trick. And don't forget, you can also take this bracket and flip it around if you'd prefer the larger rods to be on the bottom. However you want to do it. It's very easy to do with just a regular Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so let's take a look at what the light looks like coming from this guy. I'm going to use the NPF batteries that come with it. Uh, now, I should point out these are just regular Sony NPF style camcorder batteries, so you can get these anywhere. Nothing custom, nothing weird. Uh, you can just go onto Amazon and get more if you need them. Plus, if you're going to run AC directly, you can do like so. 
and you've just got very simple controls. One knob is to go from 0 to 100, the other is to dial in the color temperature. So let's fire this up like so. As you can see, there's an indicator right here on the back that'll show you your light level and your color temp level. So if you ever have to reproduce a shot, you just say, oh yeah, I, I was shooting that at 4600 Kelvin or something like that. And as I flip it around, we can get darned bright with this little guy. In fact, I'm probably blowing out the camera. Let me knock it down. Let's say, here I'm at like 15%, and that's what it looks like. Now, we can go between daylight and tungsten and anywhere in between. And this guy gets really bright. That's why I'm saying that you can use it for both macro shooting and studio shooting. You mount your camera so that the lens comes through like so. Great for macro photography. The light that comes out of the flapjack is already very soft. So you don't need to worry about diffusing it. It's very easy on the eyes. And if you're shooting something like food, you don't need to worry about melting it to bits. Plus, this is great for shooting faces too, if you want a nice even light across the face. Um, or, as I was saying before, use those quarter 20s to mount this light wherever. You get a nice ring-shaped catch light, which can be a hip look to get. Because you're going to be surprised at how bright this little guy can get. Remember, the secret of the flapjacks is instead of the LEDs facing forward and kicking out a direct strong beam, we've got the LEDs on the side, and they kick into this diffusion material. So the light that comes out is soft and bounced already. It's like having a soft box without the soft box. Plus, the ring shape let us put even more LEDs on this inner ring facing outward. So you get a really nice concentrated source of light from a fixture that's very, very small. So you get portability, you get versatility, and finally a ring light with that trademark flapjack soft light that looks great on products, on faces, darn near everything that you put in front of the lens. If you want to learn even more about this light, just click on the link down below this video. You'll be taken to a catalog page with all the details, our real world test results, and example images to inspire you. Plus, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get more videos just like this one. My name's Bahush. Thanks for watching.